Hello, in this video, I'm gonna talk about seven things that can make your life a lot easier on a motorbike trip. Number one, Mark Fox dry bag. This is my 45 liter Mark Fox dry bag. It has been with me over a year now, and even though it has some holes on it, it still works for me perfectly. It cost me $10, 100% waterproof. Actually, it's everything proof. I don't care if it get wet, get dirty, some dirt on it or even some shit like the buffalo shit on the Ho Chi Minh Road. Bruh. Even though I have many bags and backpacks, I prefer not using them. I like to separate my stuff into many small bags like this. So these are what I carry for my tour guide job running XR150. I'll show you how it works. This bag with my toolkit is going to be on the handlebar of the bike. So I can easily take them whenever I want. Number two, master your bungee skill. When you rent bikes from Ticket, we provide bungee course for free. Our staff will set up your luggage so you can follow their assemble. If you do it yourself, be careful the hook to avoid snapping them back. Patient is key. Whenever you're uncomfortable with your setup, take off everything, do it again and again until you find the best way to follow for the rest of your trip. These bungee cords and a Mark Fork tri bag is perfect match. They fold everything into a good shape. This good packing is not only safer, but gives you the best experience of riding. I've been using my setup for nearly two years and have only needed a few small upgrades sometimes. You can also consider $26 and the rock strap is a premium option, but it is not gonna work for overpacking riders. And trust me, bungee is the best way for many reasons and fit all kinds of riding. Number three, Hydra pack or water bladder. We have talked about this in many videos. The best way to carry water is with a Hydra pack. It's always ready and easy to use. For people who do sports like running, trekking, or bicycling, you probably already have one. So bring it on your trip, or you can get one from Ticket from $10. Number four, a spare phone. This is my Chinese Oppo with IP54 waterproofing and a 5000 mAh battery. I bought it second hand for 100 US dollars. For someone who spends a month on the road or travels a lot, it is not expensive. You can also compare it to your iPhone camera damage by the vibration or consider how much a quad lock costs. Having two phones is very helpful. A spare phone can handle navigation and a Vietnamese SIM card, while the main phone is used for photos and payments. I always carry a power bank, but trust me, you won't need it or have to ask us about a charger for your bike. IP54 is good for navigation phone, but trust me, all Chinese phones are waterproof. Sometimes the brand just doesn't want to pay for the certification. I think you know what I mean. Number five, riding jacket. I personally feel that jackets cross the line of not adding a great deal of extra safety, but instead making the rider extremely hot. Bruh. This is my outlet to our man riding jacket. Riding jacket is not for off-road. I'm using this one for on-road only, and it's very convenient. You get up that, maximum power. It has CE level 1 armor, and I'm happy with it. I like its style. The most important thing about riding jacket is that it will protect your skin when sliding on the road and it's happened very common. I used to ride with many big groups. It took us so long just to take off and put on our gears every time we stopped. It's very easy to take off, to be on your bike. So this is how you pick a good one. You can see the armor fit me very well. And also when I do this, it still cover my rest. Number six, dual sport helmet. This is the Aleto MX436 dual sport helmet. 
it comes with a good visor and always with sunglasses. It's safer than an open face, more ventilation than a full face helmet or even modular helmet. It's still doing a good job for off-road. I will call it a full option helmet. This visor amazes me a lot when it's ran or when I ride fast. I highly recommend this helmet for the price $120. Number 7. Hair Dryer Some people might wonder why I am talking about a hair dryer on a motorbike trip. Bruh. I'm sure everyone knows how to use aircon and a fan for drying your stuff. Don't forget the hair dryer. I like it more for drying my socks and boots. No need to bring it on your trip. You can find it in your hotel room easily. Make sure you don't overheat it. Thanks for watching.